Well, hello, this is Jeff. We are playing some God's Bane. So this is essentially, to my knowledge, an auto battler 1v1. So it really is the auto chess of auto chess. Um, <clears throat> it's the evolution of classic. It's so funny because auto battlers have only been around for a couple of years, but there's already such a thing as classic auto battlers. Explosive combos, strategic moves. Yeah, I probably should put a tutorial. Switch the draft, let them bleed. <laughs> sure. Let's just let them bleed. Go power pieces, distribute each round. So sort of like Hearthstone's mana system. I'll put a Voidbringer. Okay, got it. Units and powers can be upgraded to a max of level three. Okay, so very, very similar to the auto battle structure where if you get nine, you get the ultimate one. Drag duplicate copies. Click can I drag this guy? No. Okay, got it. Okay, do this. Did he level up? No. Oh, he has a mage cloak though. Oh, I wanna no, nah, whatever, I'll just ready up and lock this. My voidbringer's getting slapped. Well I guess these mana hounds aren't very good. Wow. Can I accelerate this battle at all? I'm not if I lose this battle just because it gave me a really weird draw. <laughs> Damn. Okay. He leveled one or two? Level two now. Okay. I'm guessing he's frontline. I'm going to put my big boy here. Next instance of damage from ability deals 45. Mm. I guess I went piercing for my archer. All right, can I reroll? Kiros, sure. This guy here. Oh wait, I I want to move him. No, let me move him. Oh, that sucks. Oh, can I only sell? Wow, that's really frustrating. I can't re remove stuff. I don't know, whatever. It's a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. But I would expect like it to be like um, TFT, where I can move them around. Oh, they have a movement phase. Oh, weird. Oh, there's damage types. I don't care. Uh, seems like a pretty s sweaty way of doing things, but... No. Oh. Whatever. I'll win. I am a god. I wish I had given this guy the solo one because he's two squares away. I mean, the art's great. Um, put some more curioses on this fool. This guy. Uh, I can't move him. Heal for whatever. Yeah, sure. Unholy strength. Amongst the Baron, all allies within one tile. Ugh. Ugh. That sucks. Alright. Uh, I'll do that. So it's, it's sad because that guy's an item that makes it bad for people to be close to him, but. Oh well. Movie there. Wish I could move the items over here. Can I do that? No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's the one thing I feel like is quite frustrating about auto battlers is the, you know, how it locks you into like certain items and certain things. I have a feeling this is just going to play out pretty quickly here. I kind of get the picture though. That's what they're trying to get me up to speed on is, oh, this is like an auto battler.
Heavy Gunner. Let's go. Pit Fighter. Nah. Mage Cloak. Nah. I'm just going to reroll. There's a Trapper. We can go here. Ah! Oh, I wish I could move them! I really wish I could move them! Level this mother up. Oh. Yeah, whatever. It's only one mana to reroll. That's not too bad. I get like a level. I'm close to level three on that guy. I don't know how many more I have to do. I think it's two still. Oh, yeah. I gotta move these stinkers. I'll just let him be next to each other. He'll get the damage buff. It doesn't matter. This is a tutorial. I'm learning. I'm learning, folks. But, I mean, overall, like, the, um, so far, the, the graphics are really nice. I ha tried to listen to the music. I didn't turn my music on. I couldn't hear a darn thing. But overall, it seems like a pretty standard auto battler. I think, like, the chess style 1v1 is interesting. I don't know if I, um... completely love it in that respect but oh did i not lock oh well whatever we'll just keep level three baby oh i have to do four now oh i see. wait okay i think i see now oh give him a holy orb though right oh that's pretty good but i don't really care this is just this is for practice but yeah i mean i think the the concept is pretty cool I kind of like, I felt like one of the mechanics that made the original um, auto chess genre so interesting to me was the fact that it was a draft, right? Where everyone was pulling from the same card deck or the same creature deck. So, like, I don't know exactly how this factors in, like, that kind of draft system. Eight base mana, four base mana. So I guess like this is like my additional base mana, I guess. I don't know. Abilities. Yeah, sure. Sneaper Kai. Pit Fighter. Sure you can go here. There you go, buddy. Voidbringer, you go here. Trapper. Oh, I need one more for Heavy Gunner. Darn, I wish I could sell. Oh, I can. I can sell for one mana. Sell for four mana. I, so I have one, two, I need three. So I'm going to sell this guy. I want a level three gunner, baby. Oh, I can still only have two items. That's pretty sad. That's pretty disappointing. Clear mind. Oh, but I can't have more than one active power. Can I level them up? Oh, I can level them up. What? Oh, weird. All right, so like the items level as well as like the creatures. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I like the concepts that they're playing with here. Oh, I don't want to move. Just ready. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it seems like pretty standard auto battler fare. Um, again, like, I, I think the thing that was... Because whenever you're coming into a game that's going into an existing genre, um, the question I generally would ask... It's just like the same question I would ask with writing, right? Free-to-play update, yeah! Oh, wow, they're moving to free-to-play, wow. Well, wow. Let's do casual, huh? Oh, there it goes. Select a draft. I mean, it's. I guess I'll do let them bleed again. That works fine. Click me. Whack a soul. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, that's nice. I think this is fun. They have like a little mini game for um, the waiting list. Why is she pissed? Do I gotta whack them more? I don't know. I got, I got confused. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find an opponent. I have a feeling that there are not that many people. There are not that many people online. But I, I like that they have 
a little mini game here. I think this is really a cool way to do a wait menu. I think that's actually awesome. Oh, wow. I have to go really fast. Okay, so this is some pretty aggro, whack -a soul Okay, okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. My freaking APMs are going up. Freaking APM final boss! Ah! Uh, that's really hard. <clears throat> this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a fun little project. Um, you know, I have a feeling no one's online right now because it is a small game. Um, I'll just do a normal solo game. But if, um, I'm glad that they have single player because anytime you have a competitive game like this, you kind of have to have single player. <clears throat> I wish they had like, you know, one of the, the, one of the games that it's like old school, but I really like their methodology is, I don't know if you all have ever played or seen Spy Party. Um, holy orb, what does this do? Primary fear. Okay, whatever, sure. Ready up. I don't want to reroll. I'll just zap this guy. Come on, Gunner. Get to work, big boy. Oh, why'd you gotta run up like that, man? Alright, he's dead. That's okay. I don't mind losing the first couple of rounds. I'm econing, dude. Potential interest. Oh. So I get interest for winning. Can you kill this guy, please? Can you just please win for me? I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, eight base. Eight base. All right. So I got a pit fighter. And this guy seems... Okay, so I like... I think I see their, like, attack speed, their damage, and their life. They grab the furthest enemy within five tiles and deal piercing damage. So... Put Thick Boy here... I wish there were, like, synergies. I, I don't know if I'm just, like, dumb and I'm missing it. But I do miss, like, kind of the synergistic side. It seems more like rolling and leveling rather than having, like, archers and whatever. Damage dealt by the bear causes targets to bleed. I should have put that on that guy. Per second for an additional. Oh, man, I really should have put on that guy. Can I... Uh, I can sell it, I guess. I'm putting bloodletting on that. And then this guy gets unholy strength, right? What does this do? The start of each round distribute basic attack amongst the bearer and all allies within one tile. Alright, this guy's kind of garbage, so I'm just going to use him as like a dump for like these like level up nearby creatures things. Uh, I'm going to ready up. Uh, if I die, I die. Dang, man, this guy's going to whoop the crap out of me. Seven foot squoosh. I think this is just a computer, though. Oh, they can move to my side? I did not know that. Uh, this I did not know. Let's move you here. All right, we'll just do that. Ready. Oh, this guy's my tanky boy. I need to get him some tank items, but I do like the uh, the bloodletting thing is really good. Ooh, the knockback! I'm back in this. I'm back in this. I do love auto battlers though. You know, like that's the thing. Like there's something just so right and true about an auto battler. Um, I I just want the genre to evolve more. I don't know if this is it, right? Like I've seen some really cool takes on them. Um, I I think this is an interesting take is this really transformative in terms of um oh man like all fatal damage received each round all right i want my tank to get that for sure every six seconds deals extra damage is piercing um more than at the start of each round, the bear is more than two tiles away from all allies, gain huge health and a ton of attack damage. Okay, so I'm going to have this guy be my lone wolf. Uh, I'm going to have... Yeah. Maybe I'll just have him move, like, over here. I don't know how they're counting. So again, ah, it would be better on a hexagonal tile because then the tiles would be equidistant because I don't know 
if I'm like here, is this two tiles? Or is this really one tile between? You know, it's really like whenever you're doing squares, you know, hexagons are just better than squares. It's as simple as that, you know? Um, clear mind. I don't really want that. But, uh, I'll just throw a trapper down here. I feel like spamming. Oh, this is big. Void bringer. Oh, trapper. Damn. Damn. Well, I guess we're going to lock this and wait. Do I have the drain essence? Oh, I did have. No, I have bloodletting. Who has drain essence? I think it's this guy. Unholy strength. No, that's different. I feel like these icons are from like an icon pack, though. I've definitely seen them before. Um, so this dude. I really want him to be like a lone wolf. So this dude, you're going to go way the heck over here. And I think, you know, I don't know if it counts as two, but this dude, you can go here. All right. I wish there was some sort of signal to let me know when Lone Wolf procs. It is kind of cool that they can invade over to my side. Because, like, this feels like two things away, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a, a weirdo. But, yeah, I mean... That's one of the reasons hexagon tiles are so powerful, because they're always equal on every side. They're the perfect hexagons better than squares. Ooh, got some interest. Let's go. Upgrade my Void Boy. Give my Pit Fighter some love. Um, Drain Essence. Distribute life stealing all allies within one tile. Jeez. Harden, so I can level up this dude's Harden. You know, I'll give my big boy life steal. Barrier gains attack range. Basic attacks deal more damage. Yeah, that's fine. You can get this. He's just like my range DPS stuff. Uh, how much unit limit? You are at five units. It's often a good idea to reach this limit as early as possible. All right. I don't always know. Sometimes you want to econ and other things. So I'm actually, that was a helpful tip. Like, I feel like a lot of the other tips and the tutorialization was a little bit unnecessary, right? It's like, okay, left click to drag stuff. If I've ever played an auto battler before, and I doubt any of your players playing this game will have not played an auto battler before, right? Like, this is a game by auto battler people for auto battler people. Why don't you just bring that guy over to here? He's about to get slapped. But um, for games like this, I kind of like what Spy Party did, right? Oh my god, I'm about to get slapped! Hang in there, dude! Stay alive! I'm about to get slapped! That guy has so many traps around him. <laughs> I didn't get too badly slapped. I got a little slapped. <coughs> Alright, Pit Fighter. Level 2. Trapper, level 2 ish <laughs> piercing strikes uh. I'll give this guy another harden here oh yeah big harden so that's silver I mean I, I like the like the three step progression is a really impactful thing it's a little annoying that they can move on to my side because now I'm like, okay, well, do I have to move this guy somewhere? I guess. But, like, to move my trapper up, I have to kind of, like, rotate. That's kind of a cool new thing. So, like, to some degree, that's gravy, right? Piercing strikes. Do I want to have... I want to have it on this dude. But I don't have a level 2 of him, so that doesn't really matter. Reroll. Curios. You level 2. Put Thick Boy here. Let's go, another Harden. Level 3! Alright, this is actually a pretty good drop for me here. So I'm gonna... La 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 lock this, maybe? Yeah, I'll lock this. I don't even know if it matters that much. Whatever. 
Oh man, he's getting stronger. I wish I could like, I wish he didn't show me what he did a second later. That's a little bit like, oh. I want this guy to go here and attack that guy. I want you to go up. Oh wow, they can walk pretty far. He's walking into range. Is that too far? I can't go that far? Okay, I guess that's red. I cannot go that far. Two tiles is a lot of tiles. This guy really has to be two tiles apart from everyone. <clears throat> I see again. I don't know if this is two tiles or not. Does that count as two tiles? Ah, screw it. I'm going to go there. Nice. Ooh, he does not like that guy, huh? That's not good. Ooh, that's kind of handy. His, like, pull. And his knockback is really good. Because if they target him... Oh, this is going to be really interesting. I kind of like that they can move all over the board. You know, on second thought, initially I was like, eh, I don't love this. But um, I like that it does backfill if I've locked something. That's pretty nice. Nothing more important than leveling my people at this point. Where's Curious? Um... <clears throat> Where's my homie? You. Level 2 Lone Wolf. So what does this do? For details, all allies gain a bunch of buffs. Alright. So I can only move two folks. So I'm just going to move this dude over here. Can I even move him, please? Uh, I guess I have to finish this round first. So piercing Strikes. Who needs Piercing Strikes? Probably this dude here. Unholy Strength. Uh, this needs to go on my front line. And that guy will walk down there. Wow. I should have just saved it, but whatever. Uh, whatever. Ready. Oh my gosh. Can I not move, please? Thank you. Thank you. You go over here. So they'll attack each other. Ugh. Ah, oh, damn, I was going to try to move over there. And they really hate that guy. I mean, I respect it, but... <clears throat> you get such a huge buff from the lone wolf thing. I feel like it's a little busted. Which doesn't matter, right? Then he just slaps. Oh my goodness. I think that's GG. Boom. All right, I'm the best at this game ever. Summary, what's summary say? <coughs> I'll copy the clipboard now. Seven foot squoosh. My old age is catching up with me. All right. I'll try to play a casual. I've been rolling let them bleed. Whack a soul. I'll, I'll give it like a 30 minute, 30 seconds or so, and if I can find a match, great. And if not, then lady, lady, chill. Why is she so mad? Why are you so mad, Whack a soul? Oh. 25 though that's pretty good i wish it would tell me my high score i wish it would tell me my high score that is one thing that is missing from this i need to have a sense of progress this whack a soul is a brilliant idea but oh, i clicked on that that's some garbage um but this whack a soul is a brilliant idea but it must tell me my high score it must or i quit Lady, 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 calm down, calm down, lady. Lady, calm down. Ah! <laughs> yeah, she's mad. 
All right, it's been a minute. I'm just gonna play another computer. I don't think there's anybody else online. I'm gonna try it on hard. If I die, I die. We'll see what happens. Uh, Trapper. I feel like the Trapper is pretty good. Holy Orb. Harden, no. Offensive power. No. Bloodletting. Okay, so this is really good to have on my back line. I might put it on this guy because he's probably the longest surviving. And then I'll give Lone Wolf to this guy. All right. Ready. Army value 10. Oh, he's building against me. Weakness is blunt. Weakness. Oh, I see. It's like weakness and exploits. Weakness is magic. Weakness is pierce. Whoo. 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 How can he hit him from over there? That's cheating. Come on, guys. Kill this guy so he can double. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Trapper, your traps are so useless. One more hit, baby. One more hit, booby. Let's go. All skill. <laughs> Max skill. Okay, so this guy's weakness is blunt and pierce. So I want to get curious out there over to this horse dude. Wait, so he does pierce and he's weak to pierce. All right, whatever. Every fourth basic attack causes projectiles. <coughs> Interesting. Bear deals and allies with one tile deals. Weakless blunt, huh? Power. At the start of each turn, distribute basic attack amongst the people. So I'm going to do the basic attack one on this guy. I really want piercing strikes, but I want it to be on my back line because it just doesn't make sense otherwise. Curious. Oh, I'm out of mana. Ugh. Well, I can't do much else. I'll call that. These mudus. D3Z Moodoos. I have no idea what that means, but yes. Alright. Um, so that guy's Lone Wolf, so I do want to give him some space, but I also want to... I don't know. I want to move these guys over center here. That's fine. I should have just invaded. Ah, that's good, though. They're hitting my tanky boys. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, snap. I have no idea, really. So I will say one thing that I'm noticing is I don't have a really clear conception of what is turning the tide, right? And like I think that's one thing I do want my auto battlers to... When I watch the battle, right, it's, it's essentially needs to be pretty clear about what it's doing. And I really have only, like, these four types of monsters, so it just doesn't matter what else I do. Weakness blunt, weakness blunt, weakness pierce, weakness pierce. What do you do? Pierce damage? Well, great. You pierce... Oh, dang it. Move over there. Whatever. I'll give you piercing strikes. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. Hold on. Leave it here for now. Trapper, you turn level two, and then you get piercing strikes. And you get another piercing strikes, and then this one... Uh, you give lifesteal to everybody, please, because I was getting melted. It's not worth it for me to reroll, because I will just not be able to do anything. All right, here goes. Did it work? Oh, my God, he has a gold item already? Pocket portal. I'm casting an ability to teleport to the opposite side of the field. <laughs> what? Uh, that doesn't seem busted. No. So this guy's weakness is blunt, so I want these fools... To attack this Pierce guy. What does this guy do? So you face this. Oh no, no! I messed up! Shoot, he needs to be there. Ugh, gosh darn it. Well, 
That guy's super stacked. He's got bleed on him. Yeah, other than the fact that, like, he has higher level units than me, and, like, one of them is, like, hyperfed. Like, that guy that, like, teleports across the map and, like, kills all my shiz. That's pretty freaking annoying. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, and he spawned a thing? Oh, I hope that thing dies really quickly. All right, so we, we came out on top just by a scratch, by a nose there. I totally effed up my front line, so that's on me. I screwed that up. I don't love that it won't let me undo stuff. Like, that sucks. I wish it would let me undo stuff. Like, that's so freaking frustrating. <laughs> Heavy gunner. Yeah, level two. Let's go. All right, let's see. Primal Fury. Uh, every four seconds, Baron allies within one tile. Um, Harden, I got two Hardens here. So I'm going to give this boy Primal Fury, and I'm going to need this guy to move up there. How much mana do I have? Seems that the enemy pit fighter is doing a lot of damage. Consider moving your units next to the pit fighter over the next few rounds. Who's the pit fighter? Oh, I see. Okay, so I see the pit fighter. So I'm glad. So, like, these strategic tips are really helpful. Um... I don't know if I should give... I think I should give this guy an offensive buff, not a defensive one. Curios, the big boy. Heavy gunner. No, not big enough. Piercing strikes, two we do want. Primal Fierny. I think it's this one, right? Um, I do want to level my heavy gunner up next. So we're going to ready up. So I really want to get this dude with the lifesteal over here, because I think that one tile health will transfer. Yeah. I want them all to be one tile of each other. Yeah. I kind of want to get this guy to the other side here. Well, let's see. His weakness is pierced. This guy's my blunt guy. It's, it's okay. It'll be a little less optimized, but whatevs. <clears throat> Ugh. Man, he's going straight for my back line. That's rude. Well, get him, Trapper. I got faith in you, buddy. Oh, clutch. Ah, oh, the assassins. Oh, man. Our, our lines just went to absolute chaos. But the Trapper's pretty well set up. So they can just keep piercing each other. I wish I could accelerate, like, do 2x speed on these battles. They do feel like they're going a little slow. Oh. My trapper, poor guy. Dang. So look at that classy gentleman up there. Final boss holding his whiskey. Uh, Voidbringer. I do want this guy to get leveled up because he's really good, and I need him. Heavy gunner. Primal Fury, sure. Oh, wait, this guy's not a... That guy's not the lone wolf. That doesn't matter. Drain Essence, I want to level that up. Okay, so I really want more pierce damage, but that I probably should have done that one sooner. You know, I'm just going to get this guy off my... She should have done clear mine sooner. I didn't realize I did piercing damage and all these guys are weak to pierce. We'll see. This is taking forever, so I might just leave this battle halfway through. Because, I don't know, it's not clicking for me quite yet. For better or for worse. I think it's doing some cool things. Like, I will definitely say that. I think this game is doing some cool stuff. But is it, you know, working in a way where I'm just like, yes, I, I'm, I'm really, really into this? Not quite yet. going to play defense here. Yeah. It's interesting that you, by moving, can decide where those things attack. Like, a, a go. So yeah, now my trapper's better off. Lone Wolf is just going to whoop the crap out of people, I hope. Please. Please. Lone Wolf. Oh, uh, shoot the other guys, man. Dude, this teleporting guy is really freaking cheesy. 
yeah curious my heavy it's so weird though like I do the, like, my, my units are dealing the most damage, but, like, it's like your units are attacking enemy defensive units. Uh, yeah, I, where is their high damage units? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just need to have a tankier team. Um, Drain Essence, Bloodletting. Oh, who has Bloodletting? <sighs> nah, that's actually pretty important. And holy strength! Here, I'll give it to this guy, sure. You know, I'll wait. I'll wait. More options are more important. Or to the trapper or a pit fighter? Ooh, I should have gotten the pit fighter, damn. But I do want to put Primal Fury. No, 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 it was a different one. Whatever, I'll lock it. Alright, after this match, if I lose this one, I, I'm going to go ahead and call it and give my game review. Thanks, good night, take care, Klondike. That's something like... I'm just going to like... But that guy can, like, kill our, our dude, right? He's got a ton of health, man. I guess he's a Curious, right? Pit Fighter, Militia. No, I don't want to move him. Worth a shot. Because I think this guy will just like randomly teleport across the map. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then he's going to like not be against my back line anymore, which is fine. So, like, for better or for worse, I mean, that item's really effing annoying because it like gives him like a ton of health. But, yeah, so at this point I'm going to keep going till I lose one. It might be this one, though, because that guy keeps teleporting to like kick my butt. It's really freaking dumb. Yeah, get some. All right, pit fighter. I really want to level this guy up. Um, trapper. Sure. Harden. I'll give it to my. I'll go here and here. Reroll. Void bringer. I do want my void bringer to be level three. Oh, I want these clear mines. Who was I gonna give clear mine to? Yeah, I'll give it to my my damage dealy boy. All right, this is a really good roll, so I'm gonna lock it, and then I'm gonna ready up. Here goes, see what they do. Are they gonna try to make a move? Are they gonna make moves? Yeah, who's attacking whom? That guy's attacking him, that guy's attacking him. You know, honestly, this, this layout um, worked pretty good for me last time, so I'm not gonna futz with it. Oh, wait, what? Okay, whatever. Okay, fine. Oh, that's bad. It's really annoying that they can just change the focus of all my creatures. So freaking dumb. But they're not attacking my... Oh, dude, don't attack that. Sadness. Curses. Curses! Alright, whatever. Where's my void bringer? Where's my clear mind? You need this. Lone wolf, you need that. I think I just need to like dump. Where's bloodletting? This. 
think I just need to upgrade my trapper here too. Level three trapper, so that's really good. All right, I'm gonna try one more battle, and if giving it my best, I still can't figure this out. Uh, I give up. It's a little frustrating though. I mean, how does he have all these level three units? I feel like uh, I don't know. I'm a little shocked. He's a lot of level three stuff. I feel like brothers got more mana than me. To be honest. So they're attacking him right now, which is who I want them to attack. This mother lover, dude, don't be such a forehead. You know, I want you to here, and I want this guy here. Yeah, whatever. We just gotta have to hope he survives. This trapper's doing a lot, but I think I'm gonna die. It's like two level threes, you know? It's like, what, what am I supposed to do? At least that guy teleported. <coughs> Doesn't even matter. All right. So, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly. Because, again, like, I'm drawing a lot of my strategy from other games, right? And so I'm not really piecing together what I can do to change the outcome, right? Because in a one-on-one -on -one match where we're essentially pitting the same team against each other every time... I need to eventually get a sense of what I can do to get an advantage. And, like, granted, I, I know you're giving me hints, right? Where you're like, oh, if you do yada yada, you get a thing. But it doesn't seem like there's really much of a slingshot mechanic. Where's my Curious? Ugh, I want to level this guy up. Heavy Gunner. Save me, Heavy Gunner. Gunna. Piercing Strikes. Really need that. Three Void Bringers. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't see myself, like, it's sort of like, I don't know what I would do to come back right now. I think I'm going to die on this round, so I'll just play it out, but. Yeah, I think I just need to get my, my guy out of the corner and, like, try not to proc Lone Wolf. I don't know. Oh, my God, he's just, like, boxed in. Okay. All right, dudes. Um, I'll attack this guy because he seems to be a DPS. And then we'll go here. And then we'll take some of the pressure off my homie. Just a... Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like I can really come back at this point. Which maybe is like kind of it, because it's like the end of the game. And I'm sure I misplayed a lot of things. But yeah, my overall is like maybe this is a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7 out of 10. I'd say a 6 out of 10, honestly. Because I just... I don't think I'm going to play this again, sadly. And the reason is, is like... I don't have a clear sense of how my actions contribute to the outcome. Right? Uh, and I know that there's a ton of hints and a ton of things. But this is a... Really complex mechanical system. <clears throat> they are changing some things, which I actually like. From the auto chess genre. Um, but, um, yeah, I feel like there are some opportunities here for, you know, for evolving this a little bit, because I don't know if it's quite there yet. But, again, this is an early, I know this is released, it is a V1, so I am writing it, you know, not as a beta, but I, I know they're still figuring stuff out, and that just takes time, right? I think the art's beautiful, animation's great, but yeah, I do believe that they're missing some, What? craft these guys so I guess I like it's like a true deck builder where I build a deck so that's like less interesting to me honestly um, but maybe I'm just like the exception to the rule so I, I I totally admit that like I might be biased here turn the fan off turn and touch the mug I like that I can interact you know what because I can interact with all the toys in this room it gets a 7 out of 10 I don't know if I'll be playing it again, but overall, this is a cool project. Definitely check out God's Bane. It's a fun uh, fun game, and I think it's worth, worth a try. So anyways, everybody, take it easy. Have a good night. I'm going to bed. Take care.